Hi friends, welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about a couple of things uh, or tips that work for me when it comes to sketching. And also I'm going to be testing out a couple of uh, new uh, products. We're going to be doing today's demonstration with this new ink that I got. I mean, not that it's a new release, but I just bought it recently. It's by Dia Tremendous and it's called Johann Sebastian Bach. And it's a beautiful brown ink. And also we're going to be testing out this uh, Pilot Plumix fountain pen with a converter. So yeah, um, this pen has an italic nib, which means it's um, broad, uh, broader, bro broader, thicker. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't prepare for this video, so can you tell? Anyways, um, it's supposed to offer a lot of variation of line. It is uh, commonly used in calligraphy. I'm, I am interested to use it for sketching, see what happens. Um, the pen did come with the uh, ink cartridges. If you've been watching my other videos and you know that I don't particularly like that. But it had the option to um, to place a converter on it, which yay, works for me. And it's very easy to set up. The converter uh, fits very snugly in there. And as you can see, it is very easy to um, set up. Just twist uh, up and down a few times until uh, you don't get as much air, more ink. And that's it. Yeah, this is the part where I show you how I always manage to get my hands sta stained when I work with ink, but that's okay. And I try to clean the, um, the pen as thoroughly as possible because especially this pen because it has a screwed on uh, cap and we don't want that ink to dry out you know and then the cap get stuck or something i don't know i just clean it as best as i can but yeah it's very easy to set up and i'm gonna tell you right off the bat the performance for this pen i was shocked um i was thinking that it might have been uh, too wet, like a lot of ink flowing out, but that was not the case. It's actually a very stable pen. It did take me a little bit to, you know, um, control it, because I'm not used to, I mean, it's the first time I ever used this pen, this particular pen. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed, uh, being able to control the variation of line and, uh, and stuff. And this is a swatch from the ink, the uh, back ink. It's a burgundy. It's a beautiful brown with uh, hints of red. Um, great shading. And this is where I'm going to be sketching, which brings us to this today's topic. So, what to draw? You don't know what to draw. Okay, draw a percolator. <laughs> Just kidding. Very easy. Just draw the first thing that you see. Let me explain. For me, sometimes it's kind of difficult to get out of my comfort zone. My comfort zone, for example, is uh, to draw a lot of abstract. I paint and I draw a lot of abstract and the uh, geometrical patterns. And I do botanical studies because I'm very inspired by nature. And uh, occasionally I, I do draw and paint people, but I rarely force myself to draw or paint something else. So what I do, and let me tell you, this works. It has worked for many years. Um, I learned this from an art teacher that I had when I was in junior um, high school. And this is something that has stuck with me and my creative process um, up until my adulthood, you know, in my quest in art in general. So here's what I do. I first I pick 
what I'm going to be sketching with. And this is going to be a sketch. I'm not thinking, oh, I'm going to be painting a masterpiece. No, no, no. This is just a sketch, like a study. So first I pick my tools. In this case, I picked a pen that I wanted to test out and the ink. Uh, you could pick a pencil, just a pencil, a colored pencil. It doesn't matter. A marker, a Crayola marker. It doesn't matter. You pick your tools and then you have your uh, sketchbook or your paper or whatever you're going to sketch. And then where are you going to be sketching? Are you going to be sitting in your desk? Are you going to be sitting in your living room watching Netflix? <laughs> are you going to be sitting in your kitchen like I was here? Because that's when I re where I record my videos because the lighting there is good. Or are you just going to be outdoors? Outdoors is actually easier. So I find it more challenging when you do this inside the house because there's so much element of surprise inside the house. <laughs> let me tell you like for real so up until that point you're not you don't know what you're gonna draw just sit on your couch or your desk you look up and the first object that you see that's what you draw in this case it was percolator <laughs> Um, I remember uh, the first time I did this exercise, I was laying in my bed, it was an assignment for school, and I was laying in my bed, and I looked up, and then I see my ceiling fan, and so that's where I try to sketch, and the t-shirt loved it, he gave me an A+. <laughs> um, I didn't particularly like this sketch, but that is okay, that is part of the process. You cannot expect that uh, your your first attempt is going to turn out perfect. I'm going to show you at the end what I what I do once I'm done with the sketch. But yeah, it, it was the first time I ever drew a percolator, which is odd because I adored this object. I could probably write a poem to the coffee percolator, ode to the percolator. <laughs> yeah, and um, so this is a starting point. And actually, uh, this video is going to have a second part because I'm going to show you what I do from this point on. This this sketch is just a start. It was a little bit difficult for me because I was trying to get used to the pen. So I was paying attention to that, to the pen. And at the same time, I was trying to draw an object that I never drew before. And it was a little bit of a challenge. So I made many mistakes and that is something good. Why? Because the next time I draw the percolator, I'm going to be paying attention to the areas where I messed up. Um, I'm going to show you more or less how I go about that at the end about uh, analyzing the uh, errors. <laughs> It was not horrible. It, it was not. Eh. It was not great. It was not bad for the first attempt. Eh. So there's that. But uh, but yeah, draw the first thing that you see. Easy. Try it. Trust me on that. It will help you. It will help you immensely, especially if you're a beginner. It's something that. Um, now the key here is not to overthink. If the first thing that you see you don't like, it doesn't matter. It, that's even better. That's more of a challenge. Okay. Um, so here's when I go back and then I start to see, okay, where I messed up there. This is not symmetrical and it's not accurate to the actual cap. The shape is not as accurate. I overdid the shadows there big time. You can't even understand what's going on there. Over there, I don't even know what that is. It's just, it's not accurate either. You see, so I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm taking a look and see what I, what I'm going to be tr trying to avoid next time, which is going to bring us to the follow up video. So stay tuned for that. So yeah. This is today's uh, video. I hope it's uh, helpful. Um, that uh, you found it interesting. My ode to the percolator <laughs> video. <laughs> but yeah, to my new subscribers, like always, uh, welcome. And to all of you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. 
I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.